I think when you do that as a teammate, you're going to cut harder, you're going to run harder, and set that screen better for players like that. And they got a guy named Jalen Brown, too, which, which doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, that doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, absolutely. Not. As an outlet to those who offensive players. Smart knocks down the three for the Celtics, shooting 42% from Tatum at an MVP level, averaging over 30 a game. Dismissed by Zoo. Clippers recover, and they look to push. George, transition three. That's an excellent job of protecting the paint. Career year in points, field goal percentage, rebounds and assists for Jalen Brown. Huge reason why the Celtics are as great as they are. Whistle foul. Fourth straight game and received eight of nine DMPs in the previous nine ball games. So, you know, kicked off the mop balls and he's played very well for the Celtics. So, too, is Paul George for the Clippers as he cuts a lead down to one. Celtics, best three-point shooting team in the league. There are some that are saying it's not sustainable. Well, it is. The Clippers did the exact same thing two years ago at a higher percentage. There's no question that the Celtics can keep it going. Meanwhile, Marcus Morris Sr., six of his last ten, knocks down the three. Clippers out in front. You know, spread the floor, put the passes on time when you can shoot it. And when you get wide open, looks like that, that Jalen Brown got. You got, you're going to shoot a high percentage. It's when you begin to force the situation from behind the three-point line, taking tough shots where your percentages go down. And Paul George right back at him, a quick pick and roll in transition. The assignment here so far tonight. Griffin backpedals and fires a three. Eight of 16 on the year. Doesn't take a lot, but has been efficient. And he brings the Celtics to within four. Brown's second basket. George saunters down the lane. Size mismatch with George on Brogdon. Two former Pacers crossing blades. George misses. Celtics have the rebound down 28 to 19. Whistle. And a foul on the floor. Should George with plenty of time to shoot. Drives in. Met by Cornett at the summit. Turns the ball over. Gets it right back. Ball fake. No, Terrence Mann crashing the glass. He can't get it to go. Third time, not a charm. Ball fake. No, Terrence Mann crashing the glass. He can't get it to go. Played 28 games all of last year. This is his 28th game this season. George. And the Clippers offense come a little stagnant here. Have tied it up once again. George picked up by Griffin. Rises for the long two. And now up. He grew up just outside of Boston. George, another two, and it goes for Paul George. And PG now with 10 points here in the first half. You know Kawhi is feeling pretty good about his timing. Another steal right here. George drives it on Tatum from the wing of the lane. Stymied at the peak of his leap. A whistle. And they count the basket. Because, but rarely, rarely, because I saw Blake for seven and a half years. For the Clippers, Tatum inside, no, rebound deflected over to George. From the line to the lane, crashing into defenders, a whistle and a blocking foul will go on Marcus Smart. Foul on Smart is his second. If you're just joining us, Jalen Brown picked up his third foul with eight minutes to play here in this first half. Now, the Clippers have not been able to pull away. 324 to play. Clippers... Have outscored them here in the second quarter, 20 to 17. Over to Brown, who's back out there with those three fouls. Jim, you talked about it, bring him back in there to keep him mentally engaged in the game. He misses on a mid-range, and the Clippers have it with a little momentum. Huh. There's Jalen Brown back in the game, three fouls. Uh, pulls up. Short with it. So he's got to get sort of on track these last three minutes of this half. You had to be concerned about it, knowing the numbers like we did. Toss a tap, one by the Celtics, but only seven to shoot is smart aware. A long way to go. Leonard on the prowl gives it over to Senior. Good ball movement here to start things off for the second half for the Clippers. Long two for George. It settles in. Paul George with 15. Multiple dribbles by Paul George. Push Mark Smart back a little bit, creating some space for that jump shot. Smart for three. It is short. George has the rebound. Clippers on the year 11 and 3 went out in front by double digits. The Celtics have two double digit comebacks. George feeling good. Not there. Nothing but white shirts inside. George gets a screen from Zoo. It's a good one. It frees George for the three. And he knocks it down. Second three for George. He has 18. Celtics coming off a loss to the Warriors. Clippers coming off a win Saturday in Washington. George got away with a walk and then ultimately the
ball is poked out of bounds off his leg. Impact to Boston. Walled off. Kawhi goes back over to George, picked up by Smart, reigning defensive player of the year for three. Air ball goes out of bounds. Trying to find Zoo, being fronted by Brown. Not a lot of spacing, so Leonard takes matters into his own hands. Kawhi Leonard is 8 for 10. He has 20. It's so enticing to go for that steal. But Batum thought he had it. If you miss it, this is what happens. It's Tatum gets you, but then Paul George weaves his way right down the lane. A beautiful left-hand finish. Brockton tries to retaliate, finds Williams backing down on George and shoved off his horse, and Grant Williams will get a return trip to the strike. And it could be scary, man. Don't forget the defensive presence that he brings as well. Oh, yeah. The Time Lord. And they say he's day-to-day. -day. Could be as soon as the next time out for the Celtics. Terrence Mann hangs and hits. 81-68, Clippers out in front. 1.30 to play here in the third. Hauser gives to Tatum. Quick move on George. Goes back the other way. Whistle and a foul. And Tatum will go to the line as the Celtics try to jab their way back in and here from the free throw line. Jalen Brown, one of the more cerebral players in the league on and off the floor. George back in the game, making an imprint to the rim. Oh! Gets the bounce, 22 for Paul George. Tatum and Brown. The Clippers out in front by 17. George hesitates, goes to the rim, whistle, and a foul. Go to the line for two. 40 minutes of really terrific basketball by the Clippers. It's required against the Celtics as he makes the first. Hey, just like your LA Clippers, you can score slam dunk. I'm not saying that I'm surprised that the Clippers are playing well, but given the history, given the... Lack of continuity with his team. <laughs> Here to go, Brian. George. A whistle and a foul. And the officials getting involved here in this fourth quarter. 99-80. Here in the fourth quarter against the NBA's best record of the Boston Celtics. George shows off the handle. Tough crowd inside and Tatum in control. As I told you, no, I just I got th an I honorary thought was, I thought it was me in my school. vocation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his mom is literally a rocket scientist. Right. But also the timing. Because the timing of the game is that he, they can play small ball without him being mismatched, so to speak. Kawhi Leonard takes his seat, by the way. He and Paul George have currently combined for 50. George has a chance to add to the ledger here. A 20-point win over the best team in the NBA. It's the best game the Clippers have played. Wow. And can we just say, welcome back, Kawhi Leonard.